Welcome back and let's prep for better jobs. Today I'm going over the concept of using a dummy node on linked list questions. This is something you can use to make your code a lot cleaner and it's easier to write once you get the hang of it. This is also a concept you're going to see come up a decent amount in interviews because linked list questions are fairly common. So I think it's definitely something you're going to want to learn. And anytime a question asks you to create a new list or return a new list, you can always use this. So to explain this concept, I have an example here on the right. I have a standard list node class. So you're always going to see it defined like this for singly linked list on LeetCode. And then the example we're going to have is there's going to be a function and you're going to give it a head of a node. So for example, we're going to pass in a list of one, two, three. And what the function is going to do is take that list, create a new list and double every single element. So one to two, two to four, and then three to six. And it just returns the head of that list. I'm going to code it without using the dummy node concept. And then with the concept of the dummy node, and you're going to see it's way more clean. Now at a high level, what we're doing here is if you don't use a dummy node and assume you're given this input of L, what you're going to do is a standard while loop. And it's going to be like while L and then you do L equals to L dot next. And then right here before this, you do everything you want to do with that current node. So in our case, we'd be creating the new node and doubling that value, or you could really be doing anything to that node. And right before this, you want to create the head. So you do head and you set it to a new list node. And then here you set all these values, like I said, but the problem with this is that there's a lot of edge cases to deal with. So for example, if your list is empty, then right before all of this and all of your loops, you have to check if the node is not null and you have to do all of that. So I'm going to first show the code for without using a dummy node, and then I'll go back and I'll do example two of showing you with the dummy node. So as I said before, we could have it to where our list is null here. So we, I'm going to say, if not L1, we want to return none. Otherwise, we want to create our new head and we want to set this to a list node and we want to pass it the value of l1.val times two. And we can do this because we already checked that the list isn't null, so that's valid. But then also, we know that if we do this, we're going to have a situation where our new head is right at the end of the list. So we want to set a current is equal to new head and that is because we can return new head at the end and not have to worry about current here. And we also have to do L1 is equal to L1.next. Now we can do our loop. So while L1, we do current.next is equal to list node. And we do it the same thing, L1.val times two. And now we have to set current for the next loop. So current is equal to current.next. And then we have to reset L1 again. So L1 is equal to l1 dot next and then right at the end we can return new head and we don't want to return current because that's going to be pointing to the last node so that is without the dummy node we have to do all of this code and now i'm going to show how to do it with the dummy node so what we're going to do is we're going to create our dummy node and we're going to set it to a new list node and then we're going to do current is equal to dummy and now we're instantly going to go right into our loop so while l1 and I'm gonna kind of show with a drawing what I'm doing here. So I just created this dummy, dummy, and it's right here. And these boxes, I'm saying that this left one is the um, value and this right one is going to be next. So I instantly set this, this value is some default and then next is pointing to basically null right now. And then I also have current and I set current is equal to dummy. So current right now just points straight up to dummy. Now in my loop, I want to start going through this list. I can do current.next is equal to list node, and I'm going to say l1.val times 2. And the reason why I have this current node is because I'm going to update current as we go, and then I'm going to return dummy.next right at the end. So if that's a little bit confusing, just watch it, and I'm sure it'll make sense at the end. So what I just did is current.next is equal to a list node. So since current is dummy, what we're doing is dummies next is going to a new node. So here we know that L1 right now, or basically L is pointing at one. So we're doubling that to two and then we're setting next to a new one. So at this point, we know that for the next loop, we for sure want to set current instead of being a dummy, we want to set current right here. So we can do that and say, current is equal to current dot next. 
So now current is pointing there. We also know that L1 is pointing to number one right now. So we wanna also advance that to number two. Let's do that and say L1 is equal to L1.next. Now I'm gonna follow this code through the rest of the list here. L is right here again. Now we're going back to our loop and we're gonna say current.next is equal to a new list node. So there's our new node. We know that L1's val is two. So we double this to get four. And then we set current now to this one at four. L1, we advance to three. And then we do our loop again. We do current.next is equal to a new list node. We know L1 right now is at three. So we can double this to get six. We advance this. And then we set on line 38 here, we set current right there. L1 goes now to here, which is going to be none. So then we're gonna go back up to our loop again. We're gonna see that L1 is null. So that means we're now at this situation where we have, still have dummy right here, basically at this random value of zero, not related to our list at all. But we also have current right here at the end. And we wanna return this node right here. So we can do that by doing return dummy.next. Now this is how it's gonna work every single time. You're gonna create the dummy node, you're gonna set current equal to dummy, and then you're gonna use that current node to do all of your work, and then right at the end, you're always going to return dummy.next. So if you compare these, you're gonna see how much cleaner this code looks. So compare no dummy node versus the dummy node, and I think it's a lot cleaner. Hope that made sense, and thanks for watching.